have completed this system and really it's quite really working. I'm so happy for the extent it has, I, I would like to say I've gone in developing this system. I'm so excited, super excited and I will explain the functionality of the system. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Magnus. It's been a while since I made my last development. Sorry about that. I've been engaged with my school works. I'm happy to announce to you that we've reached a 10,000 subscriber milestone on our Facebook page and we have up to 12,000 subscribers as of this moment. Thank you so much. And if you have not subscribed to our Facebook community, search for Magnum Technical Concept on Facebook and do join us there where we make an open source development on electronics, mechanics and programming. More about that later. In this video, I will be showing you how I made the 500 VA rating of our inverter system, which comes with the design features. Automatic shutdown once the battery level is low. Automatic battery change over once the grid line is restored. 12 volt battery level indicator, which I use lines of lead to show. Low battery alarm system, which is preset at 10.5 volt. And finally, use of a single transformer for both charging process and inverting process. Without waste of time, let's go into how I develop the system. Firstly, we publish the first inverter circuit on our Facebook page and the engagement over the post were high. It then took the observation of the members of the page who went through the circuit to find out there are slight wrong connections from the circuit. Not just that the circuit is not working, rather it works. But connecting the arrow tree resistor from the gate transistor Q6 from the diagram will have the inverter work, but in few moments of loading the inverter system, the side of the transistor will blow. I'm sorry for that and I take responsibility for the damage. When I was designing the circuit, I mistakenly hooked up the arrow tree signal to the wrong terminal, though when run on Protus, it will work. After I got so many complaints about the circuit, I had to correct and re-simulate the circuit. What we have here is the modification of the first circuit, which have a slight difference where I properly connected the signal to the right terminal. After I corrected the whole circuit, I published it in the page where I got demand by the member of the page that I should develop the oscillator and the driver session for him. That I did and I also published in the page. The materials to be used we are sorted. Further tools to be used we are sorted, which include the multimeter and the mini oscilloscope. Now, using the corrected circuit, we started to implement the whole system.
developed the oscillator part of the system. I moved over to testing it using a 9V to check if there is any voltage output on the oscillator output pane. I got the voltage required and I move over to cast the signal generated where in my case was a square wave or a clock wave. Next, I moved over to couple the driver section of the inverter circuit. I am using IROF3205 MOSFET, which will also work fine if you are using IROF Z44 or IROF540. I used a 100 ohm resistor to connect to the gate of all the MOSFET as indicated from the circuit. After I have assembled the whole circuit, I have the system looking like this. I must say, the upper surface of the system looks okay, but the solder joint is not, and I will try using PCB in my next development. Next. I use the small transformer to test the circuit. The transformer is the exact configuration that I need, but is small for the current required to drive 500 watts of load. Using my homemade variable power supply, I set the voltage to 13 volt and power the inverter circuit. I used a digital LED meter to measure the output voltage. Since the meter is not self-powered and the current output of the transformer is limited to 600 mA, the meter draws much current and as such, the voltage dropped. Next, 
I loaded the system with a 10 watt LED bulb and the result was okay. The maximum current the LED was able to draw was 0.6 amps, which is also the maximum current rating for the transformer. I've been asked severally how I calculated the value for all the components and other parameters. Truly, I would love to express this concept, but presenting them on the same page where I publish projects would make it, as I feel, a bit disorganized. So I recently opened up an academy where I can easily share detailed design information. The page is Magnum Academy, and this is a page I would designate to publish anything explanation, so check it out. So you may ask, how did I convert the circuit that I've built to this system which I initially present? Simply, it was the same circuit and addition of few other component circuits like the battery level indicator, the automatic switcher and the alarm system. I've not drawn the complete circuit yet since I've built some of these circuits which I also presented in my Facebook page. I just couple them together and you can always browse through to find them on the page. Once I completed the drawing on Pro Tools, I will always publish on the page. Stay tuned. So going back to the initial circuit, I will show you how I completed the development. First, I developed the oscillator circuit and the battery level indicator. Next, I drilled a hole to connect my relays for automatic switching. And after soldering, I have the system look like this. Then, I coupled the driver circuit and the alarm circuit. Using my power supply, I tested them all coupled together and the results were positive. Next, I went to the local market in my area to wind the transformer according to my calculations since I don't have tools for that. I bought a thick wire for the battery from wire vendors since I'll be using a heavy duty battery to power the system. After that, I thought of a packaging criteria to use. Initially, I would want to use wood, but I felt the need to use an old stabilizer casing, so I refurbished it and have it looking like this. I drilled the necessary hole to suit the new component and after, I started installing the items. After coupling everything up to finish, I was eager to test it when I just have it loaded. So far, the system has been completed and tested with so many loads and the results were positive as per design. I do know that there are more that I need to improve on and also explain and that is what I would love to get on your feedback from the comment section. For your project proposals and design information, check out the new page at Magnum Academy. And more on our project you will see at Magnum Technical Concept. Thanks to you all, I hope to see you on the next edition. You have a blessed day.